everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Brianna Nicole, and today I'm here with another language video for you guys. You guys seem to really enjoy these videos, so I said that I would keep making more of them. And by the way, when you guys send me DMs and messages and stuff or comments um, about how my language learning videos or any type of video really helps you guys learn, helps motivate you guys, helps inspire you guys, that really makes me happy to read because I'm really glad that my videos are able to help you guys, even if it's just one person. I'm just very glad that... Um, my videos and my tips and stuff like that are able to help you guys so like I said that makes me very happy But anyway, so today we're going to be talking about the difference between memorizing and retaining language A lot of people are able to memorize but it becomes a little bit more complicated when retaining language, retaining words, retaining information um, And I'm going to tell you guys how to easily retain information because a lot of people think that it's hard to retain information That it's hard to actually learn a language and I promise you guys, it's not as hard as it sounds, so I'm going to share with you the difference between the two. So first we're going to talk about memorizing. So memorizing is something that is done for short term, um, like a short term goal. Um, no matter how you put it, it's just short term. So with memorizing, for instance, I did a video a week ago or maybe a few days ago, I can't remember, about how to study vocabulary on Quizlet. That is memorizing, but I'm going to tell you guys how to actually retain the information if you are doing um, like study habits like Quizlet or um, studying like a list of vocab. I'm going to show you guys how to actually retain the information that you learn from those lists of vocabulary words. But like I said, so um, a lot of students use Quizlet to study vocabulary. For instance, in a lot of language classes, a lot of professors or teachers give like uh, quizzes or tests on vocabulary and like that's literally all it is. So a lot of students use Quizlet because like I said, I showed you guys all of the cool features that you can use on Quizlet to help you guys memorize vocabulary. So they take the test, they get an A on it and that's fine. But if you check back in with them in like a week or so or like shortly after the quiz, they're very unlikely to be able to recall most of the words that they memorized using Quizlet because a lot of the times they don't retain the information that they learned and a lot of the times in language classes, especially in high school, the goal really is not for students to retain the information that they learn. It's really for them to memorize and to be able to perform well on tests, which is why learning sometimes in a classroom setting isn't really always the best, which is why when people take classes and they take all four years of a language through high school, a lot of people can't have a serious conversation or they're not able to express themselves um, as easily as they should be or as you think it would be uh, for taking a foreign language for four years in high school. So now we're going to get into retaining a language. So retaining is for the long term. Retaining is actually being able to learn. So if you're retaining a language, you're able to not basically just memorize, but you're able to recall words that you maybe studied a while ago. So when it comes to retaining information, we'll use the same example as someone who's taking a test or a quiz. Someone who's able to retain the information, they are more than just memorizing words. So after the test, they go on to take more tests and stuff, they finish the class, but they're still able to retain the words that they learn. They're, they still are able to recall the words that they learn and they're able to use them in their daily conversation. If you hear my dog barking in the back, I'm sorry, she's like growling at someone. So, um, that is the difference between retaining and memorizing. It's really something that's quite simple, but a lot of people um, don't really know the difference between the two, so I just thought that I would clarify for you guys because it can make a huge difference in your language learning journey. Did I say that correctly? Your language learning journey and your language learning process, and it can help boost your language learning process and make the results come um, quicker than what they were doing before. A lot of people who tend to focus on memorizing, you know, thousands of words, Feel like they're not getting anywhere and it's because there's a difference between like I said memorizing and retaining those words so it's better to retain you know 30 40 words you know a week or whatever than trying to memorize a hundred words a day because that's you're not retaining them so there's there's a difference <laughs> and that difference is going to make a huge impact on your language learning process like I said you study a particular set like I know for instance that I usually like to study vocab in like sets like I don't know how to explain it like they make sense like they go together like um I have a set of words for like everyday life and then I have a set of words for like I don't know animals that I I don't know animals that I like in English so like I would make a set of words of their equivalents in Spanish 
or like maybe kitchen vocabulary or something like that so different sets of vocabulary no matter what it is I would try to incorporate that set or that type of vocabulary in my daily conversations so if you guys aren't having daily conversations this is the video that's telling you you should be having daily conversations with a native speaker or talking to yourself I know a lot of us um, especially right now it can be a little bit difficult to find people to talk to but guys, like I said, we have the internet. I do have a video on Hello Talk, and I'll, I'm also planning on doing another video on another language learning app like Hello Talk. So you guys keep, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, but like I said, we have the internet. We can connect with any and everybody from all over the world. So make sure you're having a daily conversation outside of Hello, Hi, How Are You. You know, guys, actually talk about things that so you're able to incorporate the vocabulary that you memorized from Quizlet, your list, or from a book, or something like that, and actually be able to learn it and retain it by the use of conversation and by the use of, you can also use this by writing, like if you have a journal or something, write about something that contains the vocabulary that you learned, you know, the day before or something like that, so you're able to not only memorize but retain the information. So I really hope this video helped you guys. Um, I really, like I said, I enjoy doing these videos because a lot of you guys leave me comments saying that these help you, these inspire you, they motivate you, and you guys have no idea how happy that makes me. So I really hope this video kind of clears up a little bit of confusion and also um, if you guys are kind of like in a, um, like a place where you just feel kind of stagnant, I really hope that this kind of helps you get out of that place and advance in your language learning journey. I feel like I'm always saying that wrong <laughs> in your language learning journey. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.